I've got some small diameter turning to do, so rather than use the big gold clunky three jaw chuck, we're going to swap out to my ER32 collet chuck. This is how we do it. Uh, there's three studs with nuts on the back side of the chuck adapter. Take those nuts off. Pick those up in a moment. And you can see the studs there. You can set that down on the ways so you can see what I'm doing. Normally you should have uh, some kind of way protector for this, but I didn't think of one beforehand. And I'm quite careful. Uh, we store the key in the chuck. And there's the collet chuck. So we'll put these studs in. register. Don't want any chips on there. Throw off the run out. Speaking of run out, um, an ER32 collet, well any ER collet really, has uh, better than an order of magnitude less run out than any three jaw chuck. Um, in some cases I've measured less than one tenth run out on this uh, this particular unit. And it of course varies slightly with uh, the collet, like if you use a, an old junked ER collet, it's not gonna necessarily read as accurate as a brand new one from an American manufacturer. Um, that said, um, just about all of my tooling is Chinese made. I'm on a budget. Um, but I guess I lucked out with the, the collets and the chuck because um, they're, they're quite excellent. All right, so now that's in. Take the collet nut off. Grab a collet. Uh, oh, it's over here. Okay, so it's a, I think that's the 18 to 19, or sorry. Yeah, 18 to 19, okay. So what I'm actually doing today is I have an old um, ball mount head for uh, a security camera that I snagged, oh, probably the better part of 20 years ago. Um, but it never it never held right. Um, I think there was a, a plastic bushing or something in there that is missing. Uh, this is the end cap that goes inside. It screws down, but when it screws down all the way and it goes past the threads, which... Uh, focus on that. There we go. Uh, there's quite a bit of relief in there. So uh, yeah, the, the cap drops out, or rather drops in, before it has a chance to clamp on that. So I'm just going to make a little plastic uh, bushing. You focus. Make a little plastic bushing in there, and uh, hopefully that'll work. Uh, let me repos reposition the camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've repositioned the camera. Um, so here's the piece of plastic we're going to be using. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, UHMW or uh, or something else, but uh, it's you know it's it's free. It was in my scrap bin, and it'll work just fine for this. Let me snug that down by hand. Call it wrench. Tighten that up. The diameter on this is 720, 719 and a half, 
And my final diameter needs to be six thirty eight. So if we grab a calculator. Seven twenty minus six thirty eight eighty two thou. All right. So we'll make sure we're in high gear. shot the touch off. Take a measurement. 6.33. All right, close enough. So, um, I don't have the right size ball nose end mill to match the diameter of the sphere that's in the the ball head, um, but I do have a 7 sixteenths, and it's close enough for our purposes. Doesn't have to be perfect. Let me bring that in. Let me reposition the camera a little bit. Can you see that? There we go. Is that focused? The screen really blows chunks. It doesn't want to focus. Come on. Are you? There we go. Simple as that. Back this out. tool just need to make a big ass plug for that and with a quarter 20 uh, standard thread for my tripod thanks for watching <laughs>